Hello and welcome to a new video. This week's video is all about a neutral capsule wardrobe for winter. Now if you're new to my channel then welcome. It's all about style and confidence for the 50 plus woman. So if that's something that interests you then you might want to subscribe and click on the little bell to get notified when I make a new video. They come out every Friday morning. So let's get into today's video. So you may well have seen my autumn capsule wardrobe video and the colours in that were pinks, burgundies and greens and this one is completely different. This one has been designed for winter wear. It's got some lovely cosy pieces in it. I wanted to put together a capsule wardrobe which is in neutrals because obviously they go with everything else that's in your wardrobe. Now if you don't know what I mean by a neutral, these are the colours that go with everything else and the most common ones are black and navy but there are lots of others as well. Now if you're like me and you have a warm skin tone then you might want to look for things like brown, tan, camel, rust, all of those kind of colours. If you've got a cool skin tone then you're going to be better in things like the greys, the burgundies and the navy blues. So when I go through, I obviously my capsule wardrobe that I've put together here is for my warm skin tone but I will give you some other ideas of what you could use as an alternative if you have a cool skin tone. But to start with I've got a few really lovely pieces in winter white which um, we can all wear and it might be something that you don't really think about wearing in the winter. Lighter colours, we always tend to think that for the winter we need to go into those darker colours, but you can wear lighter colours and obviously if you have a light skin tone then you're going to be better keeping those colours lighter. So we could all wear winter white. If you're um, warm toned then you're going to be better in a sort of creamy version. If you're cool toned then you're going to be better in a more sort of stone version. And the one I've got here is quite creamy and you will have seen this piece before. This is a lovely chunky knit cardigan which um, I got back in August on my birthday and I've kind of been saving it up until it's got cold enough to wear it which it now has. So starting in this capsule wardrobe I've got a few pieces in um, winter white including this lovely chunky cardigan. Now the next piece was a little bit of an investment but it's something which I have had before in a different colour and in a slightly different shape. And it's a pair of wool trousers from Eileen Fisher and um, I thought about these quite hard before I bought them, whether I would get enough wear out of them but as you'll see I will put some outfits at the end of the video and you'll see that I can get an awful lot of wear out of them and as well as the neutral colours that I've got here these will go with all the other colours that I've got in my wardrobe. So things like um, navies, the burgundies that you saw in my autumn capsule wardrobe, the the olivey greens, the greys, everything will go with these and so I think I will get quite a lot of wear out of them. Now they're in what um, they call their lantern pant shape so they've got a slight pleat here and flat across the front, elasticated waist back which you know I love and then they kind of balloon out a little bit in the leg and taper down to the ankle. I really like this shape but if it's not um, a shape that you like then look perhaps for a straight leg trouser or even a wide leg trouser and the ones that I've had a previous season were a wide leg trouser in um, a navy. I'll slot in a picture of me wearing them here because she does do these wool trousers every season in different shapes and colours. They do have to be dry clean so they do take a little bit more care but um, they are so beautifully soft and lovely and warm when it's really cold. So a new piece which I know I'm going to wear and love as I have done the navy ones which I've probably had for about three or four years now. Now the next piece I spotted at the same time as the trousers and it's this beautiful um, wool wrap which is also from Eileen Fisher which actually I didn't think was ridiculously expensive when you compare it to some of her other pieces like the cashmere pieces. So it's in sort of two, three tones I suppose. It's got camel in it, it's got that winter white in it and then on the back it's kind of got um, 
a herringbone weave to it and it's just a lovely extra layer to put over things so on a day when it's not too cold and you've just got like a thin sweater on then this works over it perfectly on a really cold day of course you could wrap it around your coat or over a thicker sweater as well I'm not a big coat wearer because I do tend to get hot so if I'm going out shopping I quite often won't wear a coat even if I've got a, a sweater on or something that's not too thick so something like this works really well because then when you can get inside the shops you can peel it off and it will fold up quite small and tuck into a handbag now the next piece is a lovely chunky sweater and this one is from The White Company. It's a blend of silk and wool so again it is incredibly soft, it is quite fluffy and it's got this lovely chunky roll neck collar to it. Um, it's quite nice and long as well so it's the kind of thing that I would wear over those um, Windsor leggings that I've got which sort of fit quite tight to the legs also over my um, Eileen Fisher ankle pants which I've got in several colours um, so it's one of those things that I think is really nice to have in the wardrobe for very cold days and with um, bonfire night coming up this kind of thing is absolutely ideal. Then I've got two older pieces which are in chocolate brown. You'll know this is one of my favourite colours um, or one of my favourite neutrals I should say. I absolutely love chocolate brown. It works really well on me because it goes with my dark brown eyes. So both of these pieces, a pair of the Eileen Fisher ankle pants which I've had for several years now. And this sort of longer length tunic style top, which I've noticed she has done again this season in a couple of different colours. So anything that is still available, I will link down in the description box. Anything that's not available, I'll try and find you a reasonable alternative as well. And then on that one, I've popped this um, animal print scarf, which is from our capsule accessories collection. Then, as I said, I don't particularly like coats very much. I tend to prefer these sort of um, wraps or knits that you can put over the top. This one, again, is really old. It was from LK Bennett probably about five years ago, um, and it comes out every autumn, winter. It goes over everything. It, you can put it over a dress. You can put it over trousers. It looks really nice when you pair it, say, with those two pieces with that over the top. And as I said, I will pop some pictures in at the end where I've put outfits together with these pieces. So something like that I think is really versatile. And then of course a winter wardrobe wouldn't be a winter wardrobe without some cashmere. So this lovely rich rust coloured um, sweater is from Hush. They've also done a longer sort of tunic version which isn't cashmere, it's wool. Um, but I really liked the idea of this cosy cashmere one. And I think this comes in pink and possibly grey as well so for those of you that this rust isn't the right colour for it does come in some other colours as well so I'll link it and then you can see the other colours that are in this um, sweater. And then I wanted to find a pair of trousers that would work with these sort of rusty bits and I was really looking for something that was kind of a rust or perhaps a burnt orange or something like that and I spotted these trousers. They're from a brand called The Fold. Um, they're an English brand which started probably about seven or eight years ago. And I did work with them in the very early days. The, brand, the company was started by a lady called Polly. And um, she had been working in the city and she couldn't find outfits or dresses to wear that she felt were contemporary, timeless, um, that were smart, that didn't take too much effort. And so she started the company herself. And she made a capsule collection of pieces, which is kind of how I got involved with her because obviously of my background in creating capsule wardrobes. So um, I did quite a lot of work for her in the early days, going to events and helping her promoting the business. And um, I haven't bought anything from The Fold for quite a long time, but they do stock it in John Lewis. And I happen to spy these trousers. They have a flat waistband, but it does have wide elastic in it. So there's no zip or anything, they just pull on. They're in a nice sort of heavy weight, um, almost like um, a ponty kind of fabric. They're quite nice and soft to wear. They sit perfectly on. They've got two sort of decorative 
um, pockets at the back. And the other great thing about them is that they're machine washable. Now they aren't cheap, they are an investment pair of trousers, but I think they're the kind of thing that I am going to get so much wear out of. Because as you probably know, I really like comfort, which these are, I don't like, um, waistbands with zips and buttons. I do like things that just pull on and sit comfortably and I just love the colour so I think they're going to work really well for me. And then I have got one blouse in here because this layers quite nicely under some of these um, knits and cardigans and things. And this is one from um, Borkian who I also work with and um, they very kindly gift me a piece each month and this was the piece that I chose for um, September I think it was and um, it's in this lovely sort of zebra print but in this rust and cream combination which is so striking and it's made out of viscose and if you don't know Borkin as a brand they are very green, um, they are working towards being carbon neutral, they donate money to charity and they have lots of other really great green credentials so they are definitely worth a brand looking at. The other great thing about them is because I work with them anything that you buy from Borkian which is at full price if you use my code MARIA15 you will get 15% discount from it so um, that's quite handy to know as well. And then although I said I don't really wear coats very often I did find two coats which I thought would be absolutely perfect. I have been looking for a kind of puffer coat but um, because I'm quite curvy I didn't want anything that was going to be too bulky and was going to add too much bulk to me and I found this one actually when I was doing um, this month's capsule in the November magazine which I have just released I will put a link to that in the description box for you and this is in the cosy capsule that I created and um, it is this lovely um, down jacket. It's from Marks and Spencers, so it wasn't ridiculously expensive. It's in such a great taupe colour, and it comes to sort of hip length. And as soon as I tried it on, it felt how cosy it was, and the fact that it isn't too thick and bulky, but it is really nice and warm, it's absolutely perfect. And when you tuck your hands in the pockets, they're kind of fleece lined as well, so really, really cosy. And I think you'll see from the pictures when I pop them in at the end that actually it looks really good on as well. And then the second coat is this lovely faux fur one which um, I can't resist stroking. It's absolutely beautiful. Again it is from Marks and Spencers. They do some really good faux fur coats every year and um, not ridiculously priced, incredibly soft. It is quite generous in sizing. I think I probably could have gone a size down but um, I'm going to stick with the one I've got because if I want to put it over something a bit thicker um, it will be absolutely fine. And the great thing about a faux fur coat is that you can dress them up you can dress them down. I mean they look equally good over a pair of jeans as they do over a ball gown if you're going out in the evening. So um, if you're going to have one coat in your wardrobe I think they're a really good option to have. And then you know that I can't be without a scarf so I've got a couple of scarves in here. The animal print one that I showed you. I've also got this lovely um, cashmere one. It's in kind of um, graded bands of colour so it works really well with all those neutral pieces. And you could also wear it as a shawl over a dress in the evening as well if you're going out. So um, again another really nice versatile piece and this is again from our capsule accessories collection. And then the final one is this one which has sort of, um, I suppose it's almost like a sagey um, green grey on it but then it's got that sort of rust colour on the bottom as well so this works really well with these neutral pieces and especially those um, rust items. And then I've just got a couple of bags in here, the tan bag which you will have seen before. And this little bag, which um, is a really good shape and size, although it's quite small, it does fit an awful lot in it. The other thing about our bags is most of them, even if they've got a flap, they do have a zip as well, so they're really secure. And what I've done with this one 
is popped on one of our um, new bag straps which you can also swap onto um, the tan one as well so they literally just clip on and off so um, you can buy these separately and you can put them on any bag that you've already got we have got some new ones in at the moment we've also got um, some new little tassels that you can put on to decorate your bag and add some color to them as well so I'll link all of those for you in the description box as well and then as far as shoes are concerned, I've got a um, really old pair of rust velvet boots. Unfortunately, these aren't available anymore, but I did find something um, that was very similar colour that I will link for you. And a pair of sort of suede kind of cowboy boots. These were from Mint Velvet. I think they still do them. So again, I'll link those. A pair of heeled boots um, in a lovely chocolate brown. These, um, again, from Marks and Spencers, they've actually done quite well this season. On pieces like this, I still don't like a lot of the fabrics that they use, but they've done really well with shoes and boots this season. Um, so these were £75. They're from the Autograph collection and a nice little heel, so not too high, but just really smart and things up. And again, another really old pair of boots. These I've been meaning to replace for years. I can't find anything else that I liked. I did see one pair that I liked this season, but they sold out very quickly in my size. But these are great to sort of wear over leggings and things. And I, I have worn them and you will see in one of the pictures, I've worn them over the top of um, these slim trousers as well. So that's this little capsule wardrobe. Um, I hope you like it. I hope it's given you some ideas. Oh, I did say I was going to give you some alternatives for colours. So perhaps rather than the rust in here, if you've got a cool skin tone, you could put something like a burgundy in here. And um, perhaps instead of the chocolate brown, you could go for a grey. Um, if you're light in colouring, perhaps go for a silver, silver grey. If you're okay in darker colours, you could put a charcoal grey in there. Um, so navies, greys and burgundy colours would look really great and you could still include that winter white as well. So I'm going to pop some pictures in now of some of the outfits that I've created for you. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, and as I said, if you haven't already subscribed, then I would love it if you did. If you have any suggestions of things you would like to see or any questions, um, then please drop them in the comments section and I will come back to you. And thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.